number one Iron Age booty daddy. Gina Carano, the darling actress of The Mandalorian that was sadly removed from the show. I've never seen The Mandalorian, but I know the story well enough. She was removed from the show for sharing essentially something that said, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot hate our neighbors and we can't be divided as a people. And that's essentially what the tweet was. Now, she, for the last few years, has been dragged into so many things involving Star Wars and the left trying to tear her down and the left trying to rile her up and trying to characterize her as this hate monger of the right. And ladies and gentlemen, the big reason that I absolutely love this woman is because of this tweet right here. So over here, Gina Carano responded to this and she says, I've been tagged in this a bunch, so I wanted to say one thing. Please do not engage in hateful comments towards the actress in this pic. I met her on season two of Mando. I believe she was a sweetheart. Send her nothing but love. The person who posted this is sad and got the ugly attention she desired. But that is not the actress's fault. It hurts my heart to think that someone is so excited about a job to be met with unjust hate because of ridiculous drama, rumors, and heresy. I experienced that. I experienced that, and it is cruel. I don't want anyone else to feel that. Move with care on here. And this is the actress and the, the person here says, I'm I'm living for the fact that Mandalorian kicked the muscular transphobe off the show and brought in a muscular lesbian. You know, Gina Carano is seething right now. And you know what? Gina Carano isn't seething. And if you've ever seen an interview with her, you know that a lot of this is just trumped up leftist rage bait. And it's something that just made me happy tonight. Too often, when you're looking and doing what I'm trying to do with my YouTube channel, you look for video, you look for things to try to cover, especially in the space that I'm in, to try to cover, and there's so much negativity out there. I could have covered a plethora of things. Amazon laying off a bunch of people, TikTok getting banned. Um, obviously, you know, Trump might be going to jail, which, you know, whatever. But oftentimes, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And although I'm not a big Gina Carano fanboy or anything like that, this tweet really just made me happy. I love seeing when people go, no, don't give in. All this stuff that they're throwing at you, don't give in. And it's really difficult, right? It's really difficult because oftentimes they'll come at you in a way and they'll say things at you in a way and you want to shut them down. But I oftentimes think that people forget the old adage, kill it with kindness, right? Kill them with kindness, okay? Many, many times the approach, and it is justified, right? It is justified. People come at you, you put them down, you have fun with it, and go on about your day. But what I think a lot of us may forget is turning the other cheek, right? Not being angry for anger's sake, not falling in to rage and hate simply for the rage and hate. And Honestly, I think that that's one of the things that makes Gina Carano as popular as she is with as many people as she is popular with is that all of the people coming after her, all she has ever said is just love other people, right? And she does kind of embody the love thy neighbor as thyself. And that is something that is a key importance here. Again, there are so many hateful things. There are so many things out there that all of us can go on about our days with and we can go, oh, look at this, it's terrible. Look at that, it's terrible. And I've been really struggling with a lot of like the rage bait the last few days, especially this week. I mean, there are videos out there that would probably garner 10,000 times more views or a few more views than this video. Let's face it, I'm a small channel than the topic that I'm covering right now. 
But ultimately, what's important to me is to never forget that in the world that we live in, where the media sphere has just been absolutely eviscerated by a lot of these corporate mega structures and by a lot of these people who they they can't succeed in life. And it's not that they can't, it's that they choose not to. And so they feel that the best way to succeed in life is getting clicks and likes online. And so in order to get clicks and likes online, rage is a very powerful emotion. And it just so happens that people would respond to that many years ago. And so the algorithms feed into that. I think we're nearing the end of those days, hopefully soon. But it's interesting to see this person who is out there who doesn't give in to that. And it made me go, you know what, Royce? Don't give in to the rage bait tonight. Don't give in to the stories out there that are constantly trying to make us feud with people. Some of those stories are important. Do not mistake my words. When you, you guys have seen my rants, for those of you who are subscribers of the channel, which if you're not a subscriber of this channel, it would be wonderful if you guys would subscribe. But for those of you who are subscribers of the channel and you guys have seen me lose my ever loving crap about something and just fly off the handle, there's a reason for that. Anger is not a bad thing. Anger is necessary in certain times. But what Gina Carano is showing is that anger is not necessary most of the time. And honestly, I think that is a fantastic reminder for all of us out here who are looking at our media and who are involved in this culture war thing that's happening. So to Gina Carano, cheers to you and thank you for sending out those little reminders every day that kindness is something that we should look for in ourselves first before we look for the anger and the hate. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And if you guys like what I'm doing here and you guys like my style, Trust me, if you hang around long enough, you'll see various different styles. But if you like what I do, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and like this video. The other thing that I want you to do even more than subscribe, even more than like, comment down below because I dedicate a special live stream every single Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee, and it's where I go and I read your comments. That's right. You want to comment to me? You want to you wanna hate bash me? You want to tell me I'm wrong? You want to tell me whatever you want to say? Or you just want to have fun with me? I go and I dedicate that special live stream to you guys at 11 a.m. Central every single Sunday because I feel if you're going to dedicate time to me, the best I can do is dedicate some time right back to you. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy and until next time, cheers everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video and I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you to join my Gilded community and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. You see, over in those places, you can go and you can support me, and those are the best ways to support me, but more importantly, you can engage with the community that is here to build fantastic new stories. You can meet authors, comic book writers, poets, and artists. So join my Gilded and join my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com and I look forward to seeing you next time.